um, you know, we'll adjust on the fly. Coaches have done a great job managing, uh, you know, the workload and, and, and different things, trying to, you know, incorporate getting better and, uh, you know, having a little bit of fun, you know, while we're at it. You have to, you have to be able to have fun mentally. Um, it can be a little exhausting not playing for so long. So, um, you know, it's, it, it just is what it is. As the days go on with more practice after more practice, is it more of a challenge to get yourselves up for practices? It, it, it could be, and that's where, again, I think you got to credit, um, you know, you credit the staff and you credit the, you know, the, the leaders, Chucky, Shabby, um, you know, these guys, it's just making sure that, um, you know, one, that we're dialed in, and two, that we're, um, you know, not getting – stale or, or stagnant in what we're doing um you know you, you can always get better and you know being able to work on specific things like power play penalty kill um you know work on some systems type stuff um just dial things in and get a little bit better um you know it's been a it's been nice to, to get some of that time but uh you know we want to play hockey related and specific to the penalty kill ranked eight to, since the first of december here what's made the, the the unit so successful um i think a, a little bit of it is just a, a a commitment to the the details of it um, and and guys getting on the same page you know what it, it's tough we did have at the beginning of the year you know you had guys you know uh, you had guys out of the lineup um, with injury or COVID that are that are you know take up top four whether defense or offense penalty kill minutes and you know you're not killing with the same guys you can't get that kind of little bit of flow and, and chemistry going I think December you saw we're able to get um, you know some of our groupings the same and get a little bit of chemistry and you know read and react off each other. It's just like a it's just like a power play. You know you you instinctively kind of read off your you know the three other guys out there and the goalie and you know the more reps you can get at it and just being committed to the to the same details of it. It's it's been good. Also, you mentioned practice, keeping it fun. Just how enjoyable was you know doing something different like that three on three tournament yesterday? Well, it was enjoyable for me. I won. <laughs> I don't know how enjoyable it was for those other guys, but. Um, you know, you don't hear too much complaining if you uh, if you just win the thing. So I had a great time. Um, Newf and Formy carried our speed. Holdy and I were kind of that uh, little bit of a veteran presence in the slot area, not letting things get through. We were stingy defensively, the two of us. Um, so it was, you know, we had to talk about chemistry. We had some really good chemistry. You know, let the kids do their thing and just kind of manage the other part of the game. Uh, you got off against them in practice, and they got paired together in, in, in Philadelphia. But what do you see that JBD and Shabbat have? You know what I, I, you know, you got a guy like JBD who can, you know, he's young. Obviously, he's um, you know a, a highly touted prospect. But you know, when when you got a guy like that, they have the they have the skill set skill set and the ability to to be able to you know play with and read off a guy like Thomas Shabbat. I mean. It, you know, you, any great defenseman in the league has to have a good partner with them um, and be able to complement him um, and, you know, be able to play at that level with him. And I thought, uh, you know, it was kudos to kudos to JBD to be able to, um, you know, up his level, um, be able to play with Shabby like that. And, uh, you know, hopefully they continue to uh, to play well together. You go into every day thinking, okay, this game's better be for a and God. No, you try to go into it like, yeah, we got one going tonight, and then it just kind of flips around on you. But I, you have to, I think, just be a little bit open-minded. Um, you know, it's there. There's a professionalism that you know it gets challenged in times like this. Um, you know, no, normal years, um, you know, there's something to it being a pro in the league. But right now, especially being able to maintain. Um, your quality of work, your detail, and your energy on a day-to-day -day basis when you have no idea when you might play again. Um, you know, it's, it's testing, guys, and it's good. It's, it's good to see. It's a good challenge for our younger guys. Um, you know, and it's a, it's a good challenge for our, uh, you know, our older guys and our leaders to be able to, uh, you know, make sure everybody's going as well. Did you like last year's format better where you just play a team twice? Like you played the orders twice, and then you go on to play Calgary twice, and whatever when you're out west again. Um... Yes and no. I don't think anything about last year just being a Canadian division was all that great. Um, we had no fans the entire year. Um, we played the same Canadian, what, five or six teams, eight teams, whatever it is. Um, you know, I don't think that's ideal at all. So, no, not necessarily. It was nice to, you know, to have those couple games. But at the same time, you know, hockey's such a 
such a physical and such a, you know, it can be an emotional and angry game at times. You know, you start playing teams two, three times in a row, um, you know, that animosity gets up and games get heated. So um, you can see why these games are spread out a little bit as well. I understand how the Oilers beat Ottawa all those games. I mean, you can beat the team three games, but a lot of the games were close, but they didn't get the overtime even. They 3-1, 3-2. Well, Is that frustrating? <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, you beat by a team, what, nine times, something like that? Yeah, it sucks. If, you, if it feels good, you're probably in the wrong profession. But, um, you know, I think it's a little bit of a mix of just you have you know, elite talent over there in 97 and 29. I mean, they're two of the, if not the best players in the world. Um, you know, it's almost like a little bit of a cheat code at times. Um, you know, but then I think just, um, you know, they're able to find a way to – you know, to, to get us running around a little bit. Um, it's a challenge for a young hockey team to, you know, <laughs> you, you get out there and you get in the spin cycle a little bit with the speed and the skill. And, and they're such a good rush team as well. You know, the game gets spread out and, you know, you give up scoring chances and they were able to capitalize and we just weren't able to find a way. But, um, you know, fortunately, like I said, last year was a complete anomaly and we we're able to, uh, you know, move on to this year and uh, start anew. <laughs>